My name is Lujain Al-Kudmani. I am the president of the World Medical Association, representing more than 10 million physicians who are advocating for health and well-being for all with no discrimination. I'm speaking to you here in Geneva, attending the 77th World Health Assembly, together with my colleague, to really voice the concerns and the call for actions by physicians and the rest of healthcare workers. This health assembly is quite a special one because there's so many important actions and agenda items that are being discussed currently by several member states and governments. And I would like just to mention a few. First, I'm very proud to say, and I would like to congratulate the WHO for passing their general program of work uh, 14 where we have submitted our recommendation for a strong inclusion for the health workforce. We're also proud to see that climate change is one of the six strategic priorities. As WMA, a strong advocate for climate change and health, we look forward to collaborate with WHO on that. We have been extensively engaging and contributing to the negotiations for the pandemic occurs in IMB, reflecting our experience in the COVID-19 pandemic and the involvement of the health workforce for a better pandemic preparedness and response and a resilient healthcare systems. We're also very proud to celebrate the 25th anniversary for the World Health uh, Healthcare Professionals Alliance and launching our new strategy that really underlined the importance of interprofessional collaborations to address several global health challenges based on ethical values such as equity, integrity, and of course, collaboration. I'm here with my colleagues from the Junior Doctors Networks who have been strongly advocating for the health uh, workforce uh, voices in relation to antimicrobial resistance in preparations for the high-level meeting on AMR, suggesting specific language in relation to the, to the health workforce, and in addition, including the involvement of health workforce in relation to the universal health coverage. We cannot have a universal health coverage without a competent, compassionate, strong, and sufficient health workforce. And that should also include having a safe working environment for our physicians and the rest of healthcare work professionals to operate in. We advocate for zero tolerance policies against uh, workplace violence and harassment. So we advocate for gender equality in the health workforce, including a fair and timely uh, pay for all health workers. In addition to that, we have seen increasing rates of conflicts. In the first quarter of this year alone, there has been 300 attacks on healthcare that has been uh, detected and surveyed by the WHO. And here, with launch of the peace initiatives by the WHO, it's crucial to safeguard the healthcare personnel and facilities. Under the umbrella of the World Health Professional Alliance, we have launched a strong open call to decision makers and to policymakers to follow the international humanitarian law and to protect the healthcare personnel, facilities, as well as vehicle, and to ensure there is a right to health to all with no discrimination. This WHA is not the end. It's only a starting point. It's an important milestone to take our work forward toward the high-level meeting in AMR in September this year, as well as the high-level meeting on NCD the year after, and towards 2030, which is the end of the Sustainable Development Goals. It's a bit disappointing that some progress of the SDG targets has been taken back, given the economic crisis, given the COVID-19 pandemic, and the current conflicts. But we continue to be optimistic. We haven't given up, and we continue to fight for health for all and all for health.